Hello, my name is Mike Robertson. I am with LG Compressors and I wanted to talk to you today about LG and what makes our compressor a superb aftermarket replacement. So let me tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, I'm a key account manager with LG. I've been in LG for six years now going on seven and I've been in the industry though since 1983 actually and so I've got a long tail of history uh, working with uh, the aftermarket working with uh, OEMs as a national service manager so I've worked a lot with uh, compressor manufacturers over the years and understand uh, what causes compressors to fail we're going to share a little bit about that with you today but also talk about the fact that LG compressors are a great aftermarket replacement and uh, talk about some of the finer elements of LG, what makes LG stand out in the marketplace and uh, just some of the features and benefits that will help you sell LG compressors. So let's start with bypass valves. What are bypass valves? Well they're little reed valves that uh, are placed over strategically drilled ports in the compressor. So the benefit of these bypass valves is it protects against over compression. So the scroll is optimized at its maximum load condition. So that's where we want it to be the most efficient, which means that when it is lighter loads, it's too much pumping power. So what that does is that burns watts and it allows for less efficient operation at these lower loads. So what these ports do in these valves is they allow a little gas to escape and it allows the motor to run more efficiently, burning less watts, thereby improved efficiency. There's also secondary benefits to the bypass valves. So um, they all actually also help if you get any liquid in the, in the scroll wrap itself, these ports will open, these valves will open and allow that liquid to escape. It also helps with the motor starting, so it allows for easier starting, uh, easier startups when the motor, when the compressor first starts to run. We also have a vacuum protection device. This vacuum protect protection device opens in the event of a deep vacuum. And what it does is allows hot gas, so in the scroll itself, you've got discharge pressure above this point. So this is discharge pressure, and below is suction pressure. So the vacuum protection device sits in here, and it allows, if you get a deep vacuum in this suction side, it allows hot gas from this section to escape right on the motor overload. So it allows the motor overload to trip in case you get uh, a deep vacuum. You don't want a deep vacuum. The reason you don't want a deep vacuum is the, um, the fusite, and I'm going to turn this around a little bit so you can see, this electrical terminal that doesn't have insulation. So uh, the oil and the refrigerant provide an insulating value, a dielectric so to speak and prevents electricity from arcing across. If you're in a deep vacuum, however, you don't get that resistance to electrical uh, current flow. So what happens is that um, if you get into a deep, very deep vacuum, you can get arcing across this internally in, in the compressor. So that's not good. It'll cause the compressor to fail. And then you have to replace it. So. Um, this provides an extra layer. Both of these provide an extra layer of protection against um, um, you know, the, back, the bypass valves should you ever get into a condition also where you have uh, excessive pressure. You can have uh, those bypass valves can open and allow gas to escape. Also causes it to run more efficiently, but also the vacuum protection device adds an extra layer of protection against failure. All right, continuing with features, um, let's talk about external thermal protectors or thermal protectors in general. Uh, here we have an example of an external thermal protector. 
What this does is uh, any of the thermal protectors sense the um, temperature of the scrolls. They protect the scroll set. So we've got one here internal, we've got one, or external, I should say, and here internal.